are headed to go tow a BMW. It's supposed to be like lowered. Uh, we've got Michael here riding with us today. He's going to be helping us. Uh, so it's supposedly it's supposed to be pretty low. He said it was like untowable. I guess it's other tow companies have refused to do to do the job or something. So we are headed that way. We'll see what we got here in a few minutes. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, so I talked to the customer. It's, uh, he's on his way still, but he gave us permission to go ahead and get the cover off it. Well, that's good. It doesn't have a front bumper, <laughs> so we won't have to worry about that. That's going to help a lot because I don't know if you can see it. This thing is super low. It's got these big uh, side skirts and everything on it. I don't know if it's locked or not. Let's see. Oh, back door's unlocked. That works out. So we're going to get pictures and stuff while we're waiting on the customer to get here. I'm assuming it's on bags because it's really low. Uh, kind of glad to see the... Yeah, it just holds the bumper and the fender yeah. together. Glad to see the bumpers off of it that's going to make this a lot easier because that's the main concern there so i'm gonna snap my pictures here real quick while we're waiting on the customer to show up we'll be ready to go here in just a minute I'm gonna try to document as much as we can as far as damage goes but obviously somebody really cares about this thing. He was saying it was having catalytic converter issues and we could possibly get it to start. We might have to jump it. But we could maybe get it to start. If not, it should have a shift lock release. I think it's the 2006 3 Series. We will be back here shortly. How you doing? Good. Dustin. Victor. Nice to meet you. It's a, it's a pretty car. Yeah. It was. <laughs> yeah, I held on and whatever else. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that part. Is that what the little dings and stuff are? Dang, that sucks. Uh, Want to try to jump it? Yeah. Grab my uh, jump box here. This is my uh, Lockathor jump box. There we go. Before you do it. Alright, box is on, so it's ready whenever y'all are. Alright, hold on. No. Hold on. Alright. Go for it. Oh, there we go. Nothing? It's trying. Problem. Yeah. So is it is it a like a mechanical shifter? Like yeah, will it? It's in neutral. Okay. So I'll set the e-brake. DCT. Oh, see, these are DCT. Should lock I didn't. Right. No, 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 no. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Go ahead and pull 
pull this off. You want to there? Yeah, let me go ahead and back up to it. Uh, that's you, isn't it? That's uh, you. you might, I'm gonna probably gonna try to swing in right yeah, there. You if you, yeah, if you, or if you could even just move over just a little bit, I'm gonna have to swing in right there. Come up on it just a little bit. I also have one in my car. I've got I still have a whole another set of ramps too. Okay. I got plenty of blocks we can use if we need them. Go ahead and sit down. Perfect. Oh. Are you good? Uh, I prefer not to use it just because it pulls at an angle and they're kind of bad about snapping. I don't really don't want to watch your car roll down the down the bed. Just grab that lower link there. This one? Yeah. Got it. Right. Go ahead and release it. Did it? I was kind of wondering. I was kind of wondering if it would stay. Because it seemed like it was almost like a mechanical. Let me let me just try to pull it a little bit. Because I, I don't think these are full electric shifter. Is it rolling? All right, it should be good then. Because these, these aren't a full electric shifter. I'm going to let it come back a little bit. Let's move those boards back a little bit further. Let's get those boards back like as far, well not, not, not that far, like as far under the bed as you can. I can put my, it's I, been flattened, bro. The exhaust has been. Okay, Alex, I can I can put my ramps down and move those further back, so it'll, the whole thing will come up. Cause the bumper shouldn't touch; it's just the exhaust. But I don't want to tear your car up. Go ahead. It's about to start coming up there. So. Bumper. Right, it's up now. No problem. Let's uh probably uh I really don't want to put straps to those. We'll probably do uh Oh yeah. Still inside of it. 
want to go ahead and pull those out. If it'll release them. It may not release it without electrical power. We might have to jump it when we get back over there to get the keys out of it since it's still in neutral. If it without electrical power, it may not it may not release. We can jump it. We can jump it when we get back over there. That's that's no big deal. the side box Thinking, just go around the control arm. I felt behind it those uh, those wheels are like right up on the inside of there. I don't think I don't think we'd be able to get eight points around it. Especially for like control arms and motorcycles, they're pretty handy. Well, you can't really see. I'm going around the control arm. Yeah, right around the control arm, right to the, right around the, uh, right by the spring, just inboard of the spring. But you, I had to pinch that end too to get it to clear the uh, control arm and the frame. the bed down Michael Just grab the, go around the control arms probably.
a couple more straps thrown on it, be good to go. Go ahead and lay this thing down right there. Uh, you watch Cletus McFarland? Yeah. Have you seen a fucking tow truck? Yeah. <laughs> One day I'll have something cool like that. Yeah. Imagine just having money to throw. 632 into the old engine. Anything you want. Yeah. Yeah, we'll need those. Go ahead and let the e-brake on. Today, like first thing, I uh, had to go tow a Jeep. It was like a Jeep I towed like a couple days ago. Ended up buying it. <laughs> it's a four cylinder, but it's got a, a hurt motor. I'm like contemplating either fixing it and selling it or LS swapping it, one of the two. Probably gonna have to move that one in a little bit. Hey, it might, it'll make it. Watch that exhaust though. Yeah, that's not gonna work. We're gonna have to kick that one in. We're gonna have to put up off the ramp. Well, I'll just have to move that one over a little bit. I don't know, dude. Just make sure it's in kind of in line before there. Is it coming past because it's past you on this side? Ooh, got the bumper now. Jack, we could lift it up by the pumpkin, the dip. I don't think you're gonna get under it there. We try to come back up a little bit, get on the boards. Let's uh come. Let's just get the ramps out. We'll put the ramps under it. Yeah, he's kind of, after he blew it up again, he's kind of. Well, he got a 6.0 for it, but. Knowing Z and he's gonna end up changing his mind again yeah. and end up doing something else. Got it? So there's really no telling what Z and's gonna end up doing. Not really like that. Are you talking about mine? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, it's literally filed it off. It's like the only. What you got? No, it should be fine there. We can always come back up on the. Well, that's why I, I, we can come up a little bit, put that, that, that piece of wood behind there. Yeah. It's good. I'm going to come up a little bit more. Yeah, right on the inside of the, the wheel. It's just like, hey. <laughs> 
right, I'm gonna lift up on it. Let's get the ramps up underneath it. So we don't have to worry about clearance anymore. Should be able to go ahead and throw her back. You want to put it in park? You just want to set the parking brake. Yeah, we'll that way it's still in neutral in case you need to roll it around. What's that? We come help our new driver. He's driving the my old Kenworth. He's got a Toyota Tacoma. It's off over here that broke a ball joint. It's a little muddy over here, so he wasn't sure about backing in. Up. I didn't want to change it. Are those your tracks or are those that truck's Fine. tracks? Those are some guys. Yeah, I didn't want to okay. change it. Yeah. It's not too terrible. That, yeah, it's just going around to the front. And well, I would I would do it from the rear personally because there ain't no way you're getting in front of it. Yeah. Not with that thing. Get in the back up so we can move the wheel right and then start pushing up on the bigger yeah. wheel. Yeah. Yeah, I would, uh, you might get back in that. I would, yeah, just go slow. Worst case, it starts digging down on you a little bit. So I would hate to have to drag this thing that far. Yeah. Uh, of course. And Clint's going to be off. This, this is, Yeah, he's good right there. I would have him kind of favor that side. It is a little spongy over here. He's doing fine. Oh, hold that, hold that. Try to, I would, I would go forward and try to bump through that. I would, I would try to bump through it. I would try to bump through it a little bit. I really don't want to have to winch that. Can you go forward? Can, can you go forward? Yeah, get a little bit of running. If you can get a little run and start at it. Alright. Now just try to bump through it. You're good. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Probably pretty good there. Feels good to run the old Kenworth. Huh? Feels good to run the old Kenworth. Yeah, you missed it. You dropped it. Yeah. 
trade? Don't I would love to trade. <laughs> Don't tip me with a good time. I would I would trade you. Right? You take stitch. He, he, he ain't gonna like other people stitch, <laughs> stitch is yeah, that's the only reason I never really took him with me much. I mean cool. Yeah. Oh, you feed them taught. You'll be good. <laughs> Not a lot, though. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have any wood blocks, like 4x4s? Yeah. Want to move this to the axe? Yeah. I really don't want to drag it too much. I'd kind of like to walk underneath it. Yeah. So I'm going to try to chalk that. You got plenty of room to turn the wheel on Yeah. I'm hoping this side turns. Hey, we're not rigging up all the rigging. Hmm? So we're going back to just going to Argo Swoop. Or That's his. Uh, I would ask them on that one. Okay. Oh. So, have you tried to turn this wheel? Will it turn uh, at all? Not really. Not really? I, I wasn't sure how much of a bind it was in. See, just see if you can get it straight. Okay. Keep going. What's this side doing? Is it doing anything? No. Try to turn it a little bit more. Yeah, it's binding up because the tie rod's still hooked on this side. That's pretty straight there. I think we can work with that. You want it neutral? Um, not yet. Let's get it hooked up. It, it shouldn't go anywhere. Okay. But I would say let's let's uh let's wait for that out of abundance of caution. Right there on the other side pumpkin, just watch them brake lines and stuff. It'll be good once it once it comes tight, you'll be high. Right. Just watch them because there's some that are kind of like right behind it there. You should be good. You should be good there. We'll watch it as we tighten it up. Just snug. Alright, that's good enough. Because we're gonna walk, try to try to walk underneath it. You know how to do that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cut. Cut hard, driver. Let Let him uh, cut the wheel. See, so he's gonna cut the wheel. That way, as we walk back, the front end of the truck kicks over. Go ahead and go ahead and walk back. All right, right there. Uh, let's. We got. Let's get into neutral. Keys are in it, or you got the keys? Let me just get my last. Yeah, you're yeah, good. I'm gonna tr try to load it in place. Okay. So we ain't got to move it any more than we got to. And if I need to, we can pull the. Uh, this is the ignition key. Yeah. Okay. All the work though. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The ignition broken, so you can. Anything will turn it. Yeah. <laughs> I added more pictures of the yeah. terrain than I did the trucks on the Yeah. You get, it's real muddy right behind you there. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. I got it in neutral now. I got that front wheel chalked. So it just go easy with it. Just easy slide the bed underneath it. Keep your winch, yeah, kind of snug. Oh. Can you uh, tilt up some? There you go. Now stick underneath it. All right. Kind of come up a little bit more. All right, hold that. Keep coming. Other way. All right. Try to get back in. All right. Try to, there you go. Now walk back. Watch. Front end of his truck will kick over. Go ahead and suck in. Turn a little bit less there, Michael. Right there. 
Now you have to, yeah, snug up your winch. You have to tilt up before you, uh, yeah, I'll just give it a yeah. Can you tilt up some more? Go ahead and tilt up. All right, come in. Keep coming. Doing perfect. Doing perfect. Yeah, it's gonna turn a little bit because we're the back end of the truck's kicking over. It's kind of unavoidable at this point. That's that's not not a huge deal. Yeah, snug your winch up a little bit. Come back a little bit more. Put a four by four under what? Under what kind? All gals inside the four. What are you gonna try to do? Pull it that way. Okay. Yeah, you have to slide it a little bit. You could just put it back in park. You're okay right now. I would I would keep walking back. Okay, keep yeah, keep keep walking back with it. We can straighten it up in a minute. Can you turn a little bit more? Yeah. All right. that now I would go ahead and I'm gonna put it back in park and then I would snatch block probably yeah that that bed pocket right there and we'll straighten this whole thing up Again, you'll have to let off on the winch, but let off on the winch a little bit. You were in there, probably be good. That should be good there. We'll have to watch that. Try to go, go in nice and easy. Nice and easy. Good. Go a little bit more. All right. Go ahead and take that out. All right. Go ahead and snug it back up and I'll put it back in in uh, neutral. Just just snug it up. so much. I'm trying to strap the steering wheel a little bit. Alright, go ahead and easy winch in, but let's watch this fender.
You looking alright right now? Out. Yeah, it's said I kind of I want it because I figure it's gonna try to walk a little bit. Yeah. I, if, well, as soon as it comes inside this fender, we're we're golden. So you're good right now. All right, I would stop right there, then turn turn passenger, float your bed a little bit, and then turn passenger. You could even uh, walk forward if you wanted, like push down. You might, uh, yeah, you're not gonna have enough room to clear. I would uh, push your truck all the way forward, get your bed at full extension. Yeah, see, so he's turning it. Go ahead, push forward. Other way, other way. All right, now I would not lift your bed. Yeah. Alright, and then now just drive forward and just kind of line it up because you're you're pretty good right there right now. You're good right there. You got it. What's this wheel look like? Hey, no, hey, Adrian, Adrian, turn hard. Just watch that fence. You don't have to go too much. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. I think you can make that. You can go a little bit more if we need to, but we can we can make that work. And just set it down and just kind of Looking good. Looking good. Oof. Looking good. It's kind of straightening itself up now. I'd say you're pretty good anywhere in there. Call that good. Well, I, I mean, I could be. Where are your wood blocks go? In the in here. I'm just going to set them right here so that way you can do whatever you do with them. You uh, D-ring strapping it? Yeah. Alright. You got another one? Yeah, I'll get, I'll get the back here. You got one of the mini J straps? Yes. I would put that on the front, that front corner. Should be a frame slot. Yeah, I think you got there. And I would just throw it under. Probably, I'll probably go to this one here. That way it's kind of pulls away from everything.
That was close. You made it though. All right, guys. Adrian's gonna haul this one on, and we're gonna go on to whatever's next. Thanks for watching.